Hello, this is Sikipi Oshira, and this is the sixth part of our campaign, playing as Pontus in Rome 2 Total War. And you see we're starting this part with a huge battle of our main, the Likoi army, against the Eyes of the Serpent with a massive one and a little bit of troops. And yeah, when the AI loses their last province as a faction, then they just keep attacking and attacking your army, and it's really annoying. Thankfully this time I actually destroyed them, but often what happens is they just like lose a few troops. Next turn they'll be back and attacking you. And yeah, we're gonna kill these men because we are We're extinguishing the Armenians. Wow. That's a bit it's a bit intense. Okay, so from that spectacular battle, the Likoi now have a new military tradition. And I think we're gonna get the one that improves campaign map movement range and charge bonus as well and our general has leveled up too so we'll improve his uh, campaign map bone range blah 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 movement bonus and we we'll want to build I think we'll, we'll build a farm yeah farms are always really important and yeah we need more growth in our provinces which is really annoying it's not annoying that we need growth, it's annoying that we don't have growth. Is this last Armenian army will finish off the Armenian genocide? Here we go, order resolve this. And they are destroyed. So general increase in rank. And so doesn't really matter what we get. The replenishment rate is fine. At your command. And yeah, so I figure now what the plan is, is I noticed that uh, Cyprus over here, uh, so they lost Cyprus, but they're invading on the mainland of Asia Minor here. And we've taken a few provinces from um, the Seleucid Salus uh, satrapies. And so I figure now that I'm boarding this I could probably start a war with these guys, and it's really not right now, but once this army, once this whole province is calmed down, build up an army over here with Diaz Rebels, and then we will strike. And yeah, that's it for this turn. Okay, so it's my turn again, we've finished building this first level of farm, so we'll upgrade it to the... The standard farm, not the herding ground, because this farm gives us more food, even though the other farm gives us more income, but we food is really important. I think food's a lot more important than a bit more income, because you can really only get food from these buildings. Ah, oh, this army's just running away. So we'll chase them down. And now Armenia has been completely and utterly destroyed. And let's just check the situation up here. So, there are actually three different factions up here. So, there's the Kartli here. And I think this province is going to rebel pretty soon. And then there's this rebel faction over here, which I should be able to take easily as well. So, I can probably use this army once again once this province is calmed down. I'll move up there. And then bring this army across. I have to be careful not to overextend myself though, like last time, because I nearly had a major setback at Asa Mosata. And once again, there is very minimal to do in this turn. All our notifications, despite populist enemy army retreats. Yep, so that is it for this turn. Okay, so the general of the Likoi has died, so we need a new general now. And none of these really seem that amazing. So, I know, let's just get this guy. He seems fine. And chariots, of course. Yes, yeah, so now these, these provinces are going to start replenishing. Oh, Pokemon was destroyed. Over here, who were they destroyed by? Sardes. Oh no, Sparta. What? 
Sparta. Sparta sailed across to Pergamon. Oh, this reminds me of Troy, except Troy was somewhere else. Not exactly Pergamon. Um, yeah, oh, I can build. So there's more growth in this province now, so I can build something here. I'll probably build it in some of Sata because it's closer. And. Oh, I could build another farm. Or a temple. Farm or temple? What should it be? I think we'll go with a farm. Actually, no, sorry. Temple. And then we'll build a farm in that province. That's right. We'll balance out the buildings. And. Yeah, let's see if we can do anything with that agent. Let's go scout around here. We can work out what's happening over here. That'd be interesting. And yeah, that's it for this turn. Okay, we're back. Household expands. We'll send that to the pool. Population surplus. And sign up. Yes, so we can build something. What to build, though? I can't believe there's no more slots in Amazia here. So capital. Surely there would be more. Ooh, choices. I think we'll actually build a workshop here. Because that will improve the quality of our troops. Ooh, okay. Ready for battle. So I might move this army up to here now. Set up to and yeah, one more turn, and then I'll move the Simon across and start recruiting units. And oh, wait, we're going to scatter. What's happening over here? Hmm. Let's check. Oh, wow, just lots of slingers. This is a more balanced army, but still a lot of arch units. So I'll definitely need some cavalry to. Let's check how long until... Oh, I can build the next barracks in one turn once this research is complete, so I'll try to build that. And then we can get some even... Maybe I'll even be able to recruit chariots. Because I only got this chariot because it was my general's unit. And yeah, that's it for this turn. And these guys are still asking for a peace treaty, but they still want money, so I am going to deny that. I sort of just want to sail over and invade them now, because it's getting kind of annoying. They just declared war on me just because I was sailing in this ocean that the humans control. Why can't we all just be happy, live together? Okay, they found an agent, not very surprised. And this research is complete now, so head over to Amasia. And we can build this. Oh, we can get noble blood cavalry now, that's great. Except it will take five turns. So. I might need to skip ahead a bit. Uh, oh, I can upgrade this temple now. Build a... Hmm, I don't know what to build. Let's just build a Shrine of Zeus. Zeus. At your command. Oh, I'm really tempted to move out here, but I don't really have any... Hmm. I might recruit an agent, actually. Let's get another... Let's just get one of these guys. Oh, I'm just checking. I can't get that sort of agent yet. I can't get a dignitary yet. Let's get... Oh, which one? Military training, definitely. So this is basically a champion, or a hero. And he can help train our troops, and he can also disrupt enemy armies, kill other agents and generals by challenging them to things like single combat. And yeah, we want him to have zeal. So when you're upgrading units, there are three main branches. There's the zeal, there's the cunning, and there's the authority branch. And that applies to generals, admirals, spies, dignitaries, and heroes. And yeah, I might skip forward a bit now until we're recruiting some troops or something else interesting happens. Oh yeah, need to research technology. Forgot about that. 
Uh, I was gonna go, yeah, this one. Okay. Actually, I realized we were gonna be attacking this province, so there's no point to skip turns. And. Hmm, this army doesn't actually seem very weak. Let's see if we can show force, yes. So we demoralize them. Ooh. Can I just attack right now? Hmm. It's tempting. It's very tempting. My army is better, but they have walls. Oh, whatever. Let's, let's try it. Ooh, look at that balance. Ooh, I wouldn't have many troops remaining. So let's just continue the siege. Yeah, I know I just talked about not overextending, but... Oh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? And, yeah, I can upgrade this now. Do I want more shields, or do I want more weapons? Probably more... Probably more shields, to be honest, because my, my troops don't, aren't very strong. Actually, no, I don't want to build that, because then my people will be upset with me. Yeah. I know, it's tough. I need, I need to take this province, really. I really need to take this province, actually. Just so, I don't know, I can build some buildings here that make my people happy, because that affects the whole region. And right, because I'm using this to recruit military units, and so they can make your people upset. But yeah, we'll end the turn again. Wish that we had this agent over here. Oh, this province is so ripe for the taking. They've only got troops here. And this is being besieged. Oh. I really want to march back, but I need to keep public order intact here. Because I just moved up under here. Okay, so we finished researching scholarship got a new general to command, so let's find a new research. We'll get some wealth from culture buildings, because we have a few temples around. And... Oh, still can't move this army out. Maybe I'll just... Can I, can I afford to just raise a new army? I might try that, actually. Uh, chariots, yeah, of course, always chariots, always the chariots. And so, yeah, we'll just get the shield maker anyway. My lord, get some hoplites, hoplites. Get some slingers. So I'm recruiting them in reverse order, so that I don't have to up keep the upkeep for these units for as long. Oh, I can get a ballista. Let's get two of those. Uh, let's compare upkeeps. Uh, two of those. Yep, this looks like a fairly balanced army, and then we get some two of these guys, and then I don't know whatever my new barracks allows me to recruit. And yeah, let's see what's happening up here. My troops are slowly getting depleted. I see all my mountains stand to you, miserable Yeah, so now the balance is really not in my favour. That's just because they have way more troops. None will escape. But no, I think if I just stay there, maintain Maintain the pressure on them. Eventually they'll come and attack me and I can crush them. Or they'll just have to wait out the siege. Yeah, they have to surrender in one turn anyway. So they're definitely attacking me this turn.
Well, so it turns out the rebels just sat there and let me conquer them. They didn't even want to fight. So we are just going to go occupy this province now. And this is actually a rather big city, which is great. So an amphitheater. Oh, we don't really need more recruiting. Yet. Hmm. Could actually start moving north up here. Could be interesting. And yeah, this army's still recruiting. All good. This agent is still training them. Not much to say. I'm still really surprised that Sparta came over to Pokemon. Uh, this army's back. Yeah, they've got quite good troops. It's going to be hard to attack them. But once I have a full army raised here, it won't be quite as hard. And it seems that our general has of the Likoi has died again. It's crazy. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter anymore. I don't like having people from our own family leading the Likoi. Yeah, so they try to assassinate a poor general. That's a bit rude. And we've got a temple up here. Yeah, so the Sirakes, they controlled this province, they came down and attacked the Kartli at Trapezos. And yeah, so now I can probably avoid declaring war on the Kartli. Obviously, because they don't really exist anymore. This is this here. And only declare war on these guys. So Sparta and Cyprus are at war now, that's that's interesting. Oh wow, Cyprus moved up here as well. I'm sort of hoping they'll attack Bithynia, my ally, so I can take Bithynia's province. Okay, well I guess I'll end this part here, I know it hasn't been that much action, but soon, soon. Oh, I just realised that this faction, wait, this faction has all of these lands up here as well. See all the pink on the map down here? So if I go tab to the strategic view, they have all these provinces. Hmm. And I sort of want to attack here next. I don't know, I don't know. If I attack these guys, it'll be a long, drawn-out war. And I sort of want to just get a bit of land here while I can, without declaring war on allies. I don't know, it's tough, it's tough. Well, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next part.